Zoom has become an everyday platform for us to chat, make business decisions, and talk to friends and family. It's also a new place where people can collaboratively make videos together like podcasts. So it's important that you know how you can record and access your videos recording on Zoom. And that's exactly what we're going to be going through in today's video. So here we have Zoom open up and I've been recording myself talking to myself for the past few minutes as a tester video. So let's now hit the stop recording button so we can actually access this video and start editing it. So when you end a meeting like I'm going to do over here, it will automatically come up on your screen that it is converting the meeting recording. This means that it's just automatically downloading the video so you can access it and then a folder should pop up like this with the audio file and the video file ready for you to use. So we don't want to waste hours of time editing this, but we want to make sure that it still is a high quality video. So let's use V to do this. Head on over to v.new in your browser or just click the first link in the description where it'll pop up as a new project and then all you have to do is drag that same footage that we just got from the folder onto Veed here. So what we'll do is we we'll want to cut out all of the blank space that you can use using the split tool here. So I'll do that now to cut all of the empty space to make our video concise as possible. So now this is our video edited. We've done some basic editing, added some music, but I want it to stand out even more and feel really different from every other video on YouTube. So we can do this by creating our own unique style here as well with the elements tab where you can add your own logo, you can add social media icons, podcast icons and call to actions like asking your audience to like and subscribe. So two things I've added to this video that I know are really good that Veed has is a progress bar and an audio waveform. Usually if you're using any other sort of editor this will take a lot of manual labor for you to create as, by yourself doing tutorials online on YouTube but Veed has a one click of a button where it automatically puts it up for you so it was really really easy for me to add these and if you want to watch videos on how to do this yourself feel free to click on this link over here. So our video looks great and it's definitely standing out let's get this exported so that we can download it and upload it to social media. Head on over to the top right here and click on export you want to make sure that you're rendering the video in the same quality that you recorded it in so for this video it's good old HD for me so I'll click on that then we we'll want to click the export button and it should start to render here. Once it hits 100%, you're good to download it, share it to any sort of social media platform, or even embed it into your own website. As a content creator, you're expected to consistently upload high quality videos that your audience is going to love. But doing that with new footage every single time is going to be really exhausting and leaving you with very little free time. So to save you that time and stress, you can actually then repurpose this content into short form videos, such as an Instagram reel or a TikTok. So if you want to learn how to repurpose your videos and maximize the productivity and value from the content that you create for your audience, then click on this video over here where we talk about how you can repurpose your interviews, your podcasts, or even your YouTube videos for TikToks and Instagram Reels. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it's given you guys some value. Leave a like if it has. These two videos that are popping up here will show you how you can improve your video editing and improve your videos on social media. So check them out there and I'll see you over there. Goodbye.